Mama, your food is ready. What food? Mom, I made your favorite. Nonsense. That's all you know how to do. Cook. 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 Where's my son's money? I don't need your food. I need grandchildren. You are a woman. Prove it. Mama, please, don't insult me. Moreover, it's not my fault. It's not your fault. No, it is not your fault. Because it is God's fault. It's God that helped you to have bought all the children in your stomach. This is becoming too much. I can't take this. Any Babe? Babe, where are you? Please calm down and talk to your mom. Please. If you can't take it, then pack your things and leave. What, what's going on here? Michael, please talk to your mom. I can't take this insult anymore. This is becoming too much. What is it? Like I said, if you cannot take it, pack your things and leave. No, oh, mom, please. Uh, just take it easy on her. We've been praying. You've been praying? You be having praying. Let me tell you something, my dear son. Prayers cannot solve this one. You understand? She has aborted all the children inside her womb. What? It's been three years now that you married her. And you're saying you've been praying. Please. Keep praying. I'm sorry, I can't take this, Michael. M Mama, you need to personally apologize to me. I won't take this. Eh. Yes. Are you are you insane? My mother should apologize to you. Yes, yeah, she needs to apologize to me. You can imagine. She needs to apologize to me. <laughs> I am not barren, Michael. I've been taking in. I've had series of miscarriages in this house. You know it. So why are you making it look as if it's my fault? So whose fault is it, my dear wife? Whose fault is it? Or oh, maybe you're eating all the babies as the witch that you are. You know Come something? On, please, please. I, 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 you know something, Michael? I can't take this insult anymore. Seriously, I'm filled up. This is too much. This is too much. Mom, 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 please. You need to calm down. Hmm? If you feel this pain more than you do. You do? I don't think you do. If you do feel the pain, you would have taken another wife by now. No, 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 please. Don't, don't add more to the pain that we're already going through. Please. Let me tell you something. Huh? Until... I hear the cry of grandchildren in this house. There will not be peace. Do you understand? There will not be peace. Nonsense. Good day, madam. Your friend asked me to come see you. Yes, she told me, she said you might have solution to my problems, even mm. though I have seen other doctors, but I don't know. Okay, uh, may I know what exactly is the problem? Okay, I, I've been married, and my husband will be married for the past three years. I've had a series of miscarriages, and we've been trying to conceive, but it's not working. We've tried everything humanly possible, but it's not working. Hmm. Mm. What's your blood group? Um, O negative. Mm -hmm. Do you know that of your husband? Yes, yeah, sure. He's O positive. Mm. Uh, madam, I need you to be very sincere with me okay. and straightforward with every information you give me. Be sure that every information is correct. Okay, doctor. Sure. I will be open to you, doctor. Okay. Have you ever had any abortion? And if you have, um, how many times? Uh, doctor, just once with my ex before I mm. got married, obviously. Okay. Do you know the blood group of your ex? Yeah, I can remember. Yes, same with my husband, O positive. Hmm. From what you've told me so far, I can literally say the curse of your frequent miscarriages could be linked to racist fatal phenomenon. Can you be more explicit, doctor? Like, expand it. Um, uh, yes, I, I will show sure we. Um, you had abortion for a guy who has a positive racist fatal. By so doing, your body is already aware 
but you're not supposed to have anything to do with positive racist fat. Hmm. This is incredible. This is more like a revelation. Yeah. Unfortunately, you went ahead and got married to a man who had the same positive resource factor. That's why each time you get pregnant, your body sees the pregnancy as an um, invader and they kick it out. That's what's responsible for the frequent miscarriages you're having. So, why didn't my doctors tell me anything about it? I wasn't aware. Nobody was aware of it. I've been <laughs> suffering. Uh, my dear, you know, when you have challenges like this with miscarriages and on pregnancy, you really need to open up to your doctor. Tell the doctor everything. I mean, everything. Okay? So, is there a solution to this problem? Hopefully, yes. But before then, I will need you to come over to the hospital with every single test you have done so far. Okay. And we'll take it off from there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Doctor, for coming. Seriously, this information has given me rest of mind and has made me believe that some miracle can still happen on the day. Sure. I'll come to the office and I'll bring all the necessary information that I need to come with. Thank yes. you so much for coming. Please do. We'll really see you to the door. It's okay. I'm just doing my job. Thank you, sir. Okay.